Rock you and right. Ray Ray's going to No one ever used that song before you. That's right. That was your song. No one used it before you, and no one should be allowed to use it since. That's right. Even though you do have better music now with the well, yeah, yeah, Jimi, Jimi Hendrix, Hendrix. Yes, that's right. yes, yes. Jimi yep. Hendrix and the Voodoo the King Child. Guitar, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Yeah, look at these two guys. My gosh, I'll tell you what. It's, uh, I they, think this is the, well, I heard they was going to change their name now. They're not going to be called Slammer and Jammer right. anymore. They're going to be called Neil and Bob. <laughs> Neil and Bob. Neil yeah. and Bob. <laughs> Well, you know, they get a lot of work at that. I so. understand, yeah. They kneel, yeah. they bob, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've heard all about that. Yeah, they've been getting a lot of work at that, so they figured they'd just change their whole name. And uh, I think these guys, uh, they might be the, the sons of the headbangers or something. With their, They just grew the, the top part of their hair out. Yeah. I'll tell you what, they have the weirdest receding hairlines of anybody I know. They say they're receding in the front or the back, they're receding on the sides. Yeah. I've never seen hair do yeah. that. And that. Oh, here comes this punk James right, Storm here. and oh. Andy Fultz. Oh, boy. What a winning now, combination there. You know, Bandy there sucked so bad he had to take a name after a losing team. Vanderbilt, Bandy. Uh, well, so you know he sucks. Yeah, the name fits. Yeah. yeah. Of course, they're kind of James's music because uh, what would Bandy come out to? <laughs> they got you cut to that. I know. You know what would be better music for these two guys? That song by Beck. I'm a loser, baby. Hey, there you go. So That's why it. don't you kill me? What's he yeah. doing? Uh, he got something on him or something? He's a... Uh, Acting goofy there. Uh, they got hopped up on goofballs or something back there. Hear that? Oh man, James Storm gave his shirt to that little girl at the ringside. Man, she's oh she's never gonna get the stink out of that. Oh well, no, she'll think it's Christmas. Hey, excuse me, you need pounds. That's combined weight, I believe. I don't think yeah. that's each. That's a combined hey. weight. I'm going to try to predict an upset here. I believe Slammer and Jammer, if they stick to the game plan, that I try to tell them, I called them earlier in the week to try to tell them, you know, about this punk James Storm and Bandy Fort. If they stick to the game plan, they might win. Well, you're in better touch with them than I am. This Slammer and Jammer, I'm no big fans of either. I used to manage them at one time, and at that time, they had belts. They were old, uh, what's his name, Jammer there. He was actually the cruiserweight champion. In oh, fact, wow. I believe he beat your brother for it, but once once I dumped his, his um, butt, yeah. Yeah. From then, your brother took the belt back because obviously this little skinny guy couldn't beat a, couldn't beat an egg with a beater. You know, well, without you know, being his side. See, I really don't like Slammer and Jammer, but I really hate that punk James Storm. Oh yeah, and I hate Vandy. I hate Vandy Fultz. Yeah. I mean, as soon as well, I'm not lucky this. enough to know him. I don't reckon, oh, and I yeah. guess I'm blessed for that. Yeah, you are blessed, because you, because you only have to have your you expend your energy on half the hatred that I have That's to spend right. it on. There you go. Yeah. Well, what an exciting match we've got so far. Oh. I believe he just pulled his hair and jerked him over or something. Oh, of course he did. That's oh, Andy look, he's Fultz. pulling the hair now. Hey, Vandy Fools can't wrestle his way out of a wet paper bag. Well, I thought this was supposed to be a shoot fight. <laughs> well, you know. Well, there. I don't know. I don't think you know. I believe it. I believe this is one situation where one's scared and the other one's proud of it. Yep. <laughs> oh, what a move there, boy! A little a weak attempt at a kip up. Yeah. All right, so Jammer's twisting the arm. This is uh, what you call in smart terms, a blind leading the blind. <laughs> well, uh, oh, that was pretty nice, though. Nice little Yeah, give him a, he must have watched WCW Monday night or something. Saw, some little, saw, saw a little Lucha Libre in action. So yeah. Well, if I'm going to weigh about as much as Rey Mysterio's left arm, I guess I'm going to have to learn some of his moves. Yeah, yeah so. that's it. Okay, and an arm twister by Vandy. Now I understand these two, you know, these two are former brothers, and they really don't like each other at all. I mean, well, and it, a little double team. Well, what do you expect? That, you yeah, know, they James both Storm. look like drunk sissies. Yeah, and then James Storm comes in there with, looks like he came fresh out of a tanning bed. Yeah, yeah. Spending all his time in the tanning bed instead of the wrestling ring, obviously. Yeah, he he's he's still wet behind the ears. Oh yeah. Oh look at there. There you go. There yeah. you go. Now, Jammer's using a few good tactics there. Oh, 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 what the world uh, is that? I don't have to say that. That's a, what, like a tilt a whirl uh, uh, Karana or something. That's a tilt a whirl uh, <laughs> leg DDT or something. Some crazy stuff. I don't know what like you that. call that move. Oh, uh, Vandy off the top or middle rope with the elbow. Yeah, well, they got, looks like Jammer's down taking a little beating here. And uh, that's about the best compliment you can give to any of these guys. <laughs> Boy, they can sure take a beat. Ooh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boy, that sounded a little painful. That's going to hurt in the morning. Yep. I see they really got the fans with them on this. That's a yeah. 
He's got him in a headlock. The match. <laughs> He's got a headlock, which he'd known very well. No. Nope. Shot up the ropes. Oh. Shoulder tackle. Drop down and up. Oh, reverse hip toss. Oh. oh he, pulled he, he, he pulled a tight. He pulled a tight. He did pull a tight. He did pull a tight. And Jammer cowering to the corner. Oh, Vandy being a tough guy now, trying to kick a man when he's down. Go ahead, Vandy. It's the only way you'll ever win a match. Well, you know, he does work for the uh, police department around here. That's the only way they can arrest somebody, beat them while they're down. Yeah. Oh, uh, Vandy works for the police department. I imagine they haven't had too many arrests because I don't think he could well, beat about anybody. Well, uh, about the worst worst scenario around here is uh, sheep herding. <laughs> well, yeah. I understand Rick Markham got busted for some bad chat for bouncing a rubber chat. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, they need to be arresting Rick Markham for public ugliness. <laughs> but and of course, in and impersonating a professional wrestler. That's right. Which, uh, but of course, hey, there's beautiful Boogie just walked in the door. Oh, well, there you go. Hey, it's just too damn sweet. Hey, there you go. Come on up here and join us, Boogie. We're gonna have a little join. Uh, we're gonna join. <laughs> well, uh, by golly, you just heard we it. We won't from repeat him. that on the air at Hardcore Championship Wrestling. <laughs> Hey, well, uh, he just said he's going more entertaining than the wrestling match going on here, as always. Yeah. Uh, in fact, what have we been missing up here? Oh, uh, nothing really. Yeah. Oh, that looked like a little uh, head to the chin there. Into the turnbuckle. Here comes Jammer. Up, oh, miss. Roll up. Uh, oh. You the shit. Oh, we smell it. We smell it. <laughs> hey, what's this uh, announcer here? She's smell. been trying to play with our legs already, hasn't she? Oh, cat? yeah. This she, she wants some a Cat Taylor and hey. Sweet Shane, and I know she wants Beautiful Boogie. Who's in here? No. She's coming. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got a, got a new gimmick for us tonight. Uh oh. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Who's this little y'all punk out here? That is James Storm. James Storm and Jammer, a slammer and jammer. They love, they, they, they love like they got some free tickets away tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, just the video, <laughs> what you call an amateur player. match here tonight. <laughs> right now going on. They just wait, just wait for the look, event. Here comes the drunk sissy to cut all of them's hair up there. <laughs> hey man. Oh, what an ugly oh, face coming by the camera. Well, Jammer is assuming his usual position on his knees. I never got a call that you were gonna meet us at the meeting spot. <laughs> That's Bandy Fultz. Uh, I took a limbo up here. It's, oh, it's, hell. This <laughs> Bandy Fultz has uh, been hitting the ball a little too much. He about fell down trying to pick <laughs> Jammer up. Well, I like his wrestling outfit there. He ah. just picked it up. In a Woo, that's going to hurt in the morning. He's going to go see Dr. Kyle practice on that. <laughs> well, knocking his tailbone up well, inside you know, in there. You know what you call that? No ass at all right there. Well, let me tell you what there. Stick it in your pocket. If he doesn't, way more you, but stick it in your pocket. I tell you what, if he don't have hemorrhoids, he's got them now. <laughs> oh, Vandy laying there on the mat. And James, oh, Storm. Well, what's James doing coming in there? Hey, James Storm here is uh, coming back from an injury. Uh, he had a bleeding lanus. <laughs> he tried that move too many times too. Yeah, that was a. I think Van, that's why him and Vandy are partners now. You heard people making strange bedfellows. Well, that would be legitimate. I have one. I'm here for you. I'm here for you, Oh, oh. I don't know. That was some sort of. <laughs> yeah. Well. Oh, now we got Slammer doing his favorite wrestling move, the choke. Oh, uh, listen. Look people, at James Storm. These I'll people are saying Vandy sucks. Vandy right sucks. <laughs> yeah. And they're not talking about the football team. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. We'll roll up there. And the referee goes straight Look, he's channel. trying to push him in the ropes. He's cheating. He is. Look, he's on the ropes. Come on, ref. Let him out. You look like a broomstick with pants on. Let's know that. <laughs> and, well, you know, I think, I think Slammer told uh, Vandy to kiss his ass, and he was really doing a good job of trying it. Oh, yeah. Look at him. Mr. Addison himself. That's just a hot Oh, is that Troy Eaton that just walked by? Troy the toy? <laughs> toy Eaton. That's, that's a... That's, a that's man Shorty right there, go. Shorty. I believe that's a distant cousin of John Belushi. Like Troy, Troy the fucking dog, man. Uh, look at James uh, Storm. The referee James, ought to disqualify him for trying James to beat trying, him up. Trying to hug the referee, I'll tell you what. Hey, it's showing his true colors out there. Hey, you know, uh, Nick's been running around with Farron a lot, so uh, James yeah. and Nick and Farron, hey, that may be a winning well, combination you know right there. Farron had his eye on James. I believe he converted him. Yeah. I believe he did. I think Nick had his eye on Farron. 
Yeah, oh, he's always looked like a little sissy. But he's still, still oh, a lot of weak suplex. They, <laughs> two of them, two of them couldn't well, even pick look, up one man. If you stand them side, if you put Slammer and Jammer side by side, they look like Rey Mysterio Jr.'s arms. So. <laughs> Oh, oh man! Mud fence. <laughs> <laughs> that's why they. Well, that's one why punch. They that look, one, one punch and the man is on the ground. Yeah. He is a sissy. If I had a face like that, I would have had it up too. Hell yeah, yeah. You gotta color that stuff what in. What does he look like? Mm. Jack Daniels. Uh, I got some Jack Daniels for you. <laughs> what kind of Speaking move was Jack, that? Jack, I'd say these guys in the ring don't know Jack. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got two guys laying down in the job right now. Come on, guys. We got long Mr. Promoter, Mr. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Promoter, you need to do your job and fire these jabronis. Come on, it's the opening match. If they, if they weren't all such horrible wrestlers, when I would have pinned someone by now. The only people that can't pin them are each other. Oh, what a weak punch. What a weak kick. What a weak punch. Here comes James Storm. Yeah, look how little he is. Of course, the guy can't throw anything powerful. James Storm. <laughs> <laughs> look at the referee manhandle James Storm. That well, shows you about Storm ain't too much. Well, can't see the security guard on camera, but I see who you're talking about. Now, he's a big old boy. Looks like he's been eating his turkey dinners. He's so big, he fits on both sides of the <laughs> <laughs> His ass is so big, he's got different area codes on each side of it. <laughs> well, he has that, song, that, that little disease they call Dicky Do. Dicky Do, yep, yep. <laughs> and, and the Dunlap. Uh, the Dunlap's disease. They didn't Randy Travis have that? He used to do slim fast commercials. Yep. I had what you call Dunlap's disease because my belly done lapped over my belt. That's right, Alan Just pick up his belly. Find <laughs> <laughs> the two eggs and that little nugget down there with him. Ah, uh, kind of weak uh, clothesline there from James Storm. Well, He's supposed to be a storm. Well, he ain't done that. It's more of a drizzle, ain't he? Yeah. He's only showing me hot air. I don't know, that little spin wheel kick right there almost went to the cards. <laughs> he don't know how to aim that thing, does he? No. How many BWO fans we got in here tonight? Every one of them. Hey, well, look how stupid and ugly they are. If they were, they had any BWO fans, we'd have some good looking, intelligent people well, out there. Well. Steve, try to use Steve's move. Try that's to use your own damn move, boy. You're going to get screwed up every damn time. <laughs> now look at him. Oh, he yeah, Vanny Bulls. He bought his grip on his clothes. <laughs> I thought he just went to the, to to bed, don't well, I thought he just went to the Salvation Army and picked up a donation from him. Well, he's throwing him little rabbit punches. What's he uh, doing? Hunting rabbit? Yeah. He's a drunk it's season. Rabbit cop. season, duck season, rabbit season. What duck are season. Are they paying to wrestle tonight? <laughs> <laughs> They're paying to wrestle. That's what you call an amateur. An amateur. Hey, man. hey, hey, what is that? He tried to steal our damn move. I don't know. I wasn't looking. Oh, we got a little fight outside the ring with the chair. We got two guys getting into it. Oh, here comes. Here comes Shane with the chair. Oh, Slammer just, Slammer just knocked Vandy over the back with a chair. And of course, Vandy wouldn't last. Shouldn't be in a organization called Hardcore Championship Wrestling. Come on, Nick, make the count. There you go, count him. Well, Nick could take all day if he wanted to, because neither one of these guys are getting up. A couple of weak ones. And I believe Slammer and Jammer just won that match. There you go, Slammer and Jammer. James Storm crying, it's a little hissy fit. Oh boy, we got some upset people out here. I'll tell you what, BWO is nothing like this. Slammer and Jammer is fixing to find out what the BWO is all about, and I hope they try to hit us with a chair. We'll show them how to use a chair. Well, my understanding is tonight you guys are, don't have to worry about Slammer and Jammer. You've got, uh, I believe you have uh, Steve Morton. And I believe you have Danny Shannon. I believe you all are going for the titles tonight. Yeah. Who we got? Because the goals are ours, and that's the bottom line. Well, that's all for it. do said so. That's right. Uh, that's I said right. so because, see, I got you that match because you're going to win the titles because you deserve to have Let it. me tell you they something. They just hand them to you when you walked in the door. Let me tell you something. Since I've been with Gary, the chiropractor has released me since I've been with Gary because I ain't had to carry Gary like I did my <laughs> brother. You know, my brother, I carried him so much, I was going to the chiropractor every day. Well, now he's with a, a blind boy named Danny Shannon. What's up with that? I ain't got no balls because he just got kicked off last week. <laughs> That's right. You got the blind leading the blind on that. The yeah. sweet Shane, it's too bad you don't have a twin, brother, because any one of these guys in that last match could use a, could use someone to carry them on their back. We like to Let me tell you what. We keep going all night long. Mm -hmm. Let me doom, tell doom, you something. Doom, doom, doom. 
I don't believe Hall or Nash could carry these fellas. Oh, no way. <laughs> these guys are so bad, they can't even spell wrestle. Well, like, they you know, spell don't lie, but these guys don't, don't know so little about wrestling. They don't know a wrist lock from a wrist watch. You've heard that before. If you now, if, they, if you tell them to spell wrestling, they'd say R-A-S-L-I-N. That's right. I tell you what, I'm going to give my headset to a beautiful boogie because I'm going to go out here and get Tony Falk. To show you what a single. You get Tony to Falk. We'll we'll uh, commentate uh, this and uh, take yeah. care of it. The ratings just went up another notch. You put us on. Hey, hey, 